See, look at that. That's just... That's, like, literally perfect. That's what you want to see. Okay, uh, what we don't want to see is where the hell are we? Ah, we're here. Uh, immediately snack me. Plunk. Ooh, that, that crinkling sounds a little uncomfortable on the ears, but you know what? We do what we must. It's a very green bottle, isn't it? Okay, now. straight god damn it oh thank you yeah my shoulder is still so i went oh guys i gotta tell you this i'll save in the story for later in the stream but you know what let's send it now um so i went for a massage last night with miss with, with aisha right with, with miss unemployed and uh we were like okay we're gonna go to this thai place down the road it's gonna be great they they've all in the past like that franchise kai thai has always been good you know nothing nothing sus going on there which is nice and so we decided to go in we're gonna go for we're gonna get a back and shoulders 90 minute we get there, and the the Thai lady at the front desk is like, uh, "Okay, do you really want to do a 90 minute back and shoulders? It's gonna it's gonna suck, right?" And I was like, "Well," and I was like, "What do you mean?" And she's like, "Well, it's gonna be uncomfortable. You're gonna be sitting there for 90 minutes. The masseuse is gonna be tired. Why don't you do a 30 minute foot rub with this masseuse and a 60 minute full back and and body?" for uh for 60 minutes and i was like and i'll give you the same price and i was like okay even though that they totaled the same amount anyway i was like okay sure sounds sounds good um and so we were like all right we, we all are now i'm doing the foot rub heavenly best foot rub i've had in years dude oh my god i might genuinely go every month it so it was just oh it it unlocked the chakras it uh it purged the the center of mind i don't know how uh, holistic voodoo works but <laughs> you know what i'm talking about there was uh there was there was definitely a moment of release there then we go on to the the next phase of the night right which is to get the massage done at the main table boys boys when i tell you that i lay down on that table and i was like this is gonna be so it's gonna be nothing this lady let's start she's, she asked me the initial question she's like what kind of pressure do you want medium low medium or hard and i was like my shoulders really sore give me a hard on the shoulders give me like a give me like a medium everywhere else you know i don't i don't need to be brutalized here She's like okay cool bet thank you we start we start the procedure right we initiate the proceedings she's she's uh she's she's sort of slowly wet you know getting some oil on the back she's like rubbing it in it's really calm and relaxing out of nowhere freaking atomic elbow comes in right between my shoulder blades right she's digging around in there with the with the with the freaking precision of a surgeon and she is just tearing my guts up let me tell you and i and i'm sort of like i'm kind of starting to like squirm a bit and she's like uh is the pressure too much and i don't know why but i'm just like no it's fine it's all good and she's like okay and so she starts like oh, you're getting in there she's getting channeling her in her randy orton she's she's doing the suplex on me now Bro, my whole body was like the people's elbow, precisely. Dude, she was she was cutting muscles in half with the sheer force of her will. And I'm just sitting there and I'm like, can I say anything at this point? Like, is it <laughs> like, is it too late to back out? And I I keep trying to find the right moment to be like, um, just a, just, just a little harder, please. Just I mean, a little softer, just a little softer, sorry, just a little softer. And uh, I, it's just, it never quite materializes in my voice. And so she's still going, she's going, and I'm lying there, and I'm like, I'm literally paying to be tortured right now. Then, she notices something's wrong, and she asks again, she's like, sir, are you sure this is the right pressure, I can go softer? And I was like, okay, you know what, fine, if you want to go softer, that's cool. That's literally how I said it. And now I'm in this, like, macho fighting, you want to talk about toxic masculinity, this is an example. Now I'm in this, like, macho pissing match with the masseuse I've hired to brutalize me. And I am losing, man. Like, no one won that evening. Like, she had to get her hands all over me, and I had to endure her presence. Brothers. Let me tell you, it was an uphill battle from the start. So I'm lying there, and I'm like, this is gonna end at some point, right? Like, I booked a 60-minute massage. It's got to It's like, we released halfway through. I glance at my watch. It's been three minutes. It's been three minutes. I thought it was 30. 
was like, you know what, I can't, I can't survive this. So I'm, I'm lying there, right? Then she starts, she starts moving away from the shoulders. I'm like, you know what, I can take this. It's fine. She's working the carbs. It's a little uncomfortable because they're always a bit stiff, but it's nothing too bad. Then she gets to the abdomen, right? and she starts working the abdomen, and something, something about the coffee that I had on stream mixed with the cereal I had before stream just starts, baby. It just starts mixing in there and there's there's a there's an atomic reaction brewing in my gut and i'm like don't fart don't fart she's right she's like on your low don't fart three seconds go by no fart i'm like okay cool i, I might make it out of this 10 seconds go by no fart but it's built the pressure's mounting suddenly out of nowhere she just hits the one spot and i just give her a little and i'm like she didn't stop, to her credit, to her professional credit, she just kept working. And I'm like, maybe she just thought, maybe she thought it was just like the bed squeaking. Cause like, you know, the beds, like they're not the best quality. They squeak a bit. You know, there's like, there's like, a, there's like the, the, the sweat proof film on the plastic, which is like keeping everything intact. And I was like, I got away with it. I got away with it and I do it again. And then she hits the same spot again and we get another one, a little, and, I, and she stopped for like a full five seconds and she was like <sighs> and then she carried on dude this woman was an absolute pro <laughs> oh man and then she starts <laughs> and then she starts so, so, so she's clearly realized this is not the spot to be working so she starts working further up the back she's going back towards the shoulders and my little bitch ass i'm already wiggling i'm preempting the pain Boys, let me tell you that she gets to the shoulder, she fully stops, she gets off the table, because they're like, they're like kneeling over you, right? They're like straddling your body at this point. She gets off the table, she stands in front of me, and she's like, sir, I'm gonna rub your shoulders now. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's okay. And she's like, are you sure? Because you seem to be in a lot of pain. And I'm like, nah, it'll be fine. It'll be, I, what are you talking about? I'm not, I'm not hurting at all. She's like, okay. So this time from the front, she gets in there with the thumb, right? And she's molding me like clay. And let me tell you right now, I, I literally went, <laughs> but I was adamant at this point. I'm like, I'm not giving it. I'm suffering through this. <laughs> Brutalize me, baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. And she's, oh, this poor woman. And then we, we get up and, uh, you know, finally the ordeal comes to a close. She's, she's wiping her hands. They're doing the little, like, that they for some reason do on your back when the massage ends. And I'm like, okay, I survived. I made it through. I haven't looked at her at this point because it's dark when you walk in, right? Because I got little like, tea light candles. It's super dim. It's like supposed to be relaxing and it is. She turns the lights on and this woman is maybe one eighth my body weight and like a tenth of my height. She is, oh, that's not possible. She's very short. She's like five foot one, like 160 centimeters tops. And... She has the hand strength of 15 of me on a bad day. Like, she is quite possibly the single strongest person I have ever seen in my life, dude. She <laughs> friggin' dislocated my shoulder with her thumb. Anyway, that's the story. Hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> it's a disaster. Miles is the most masochistic. Dude, Hardcore Talk of is apparently something that carries over to real life. Genuinely the most professional masseuse I've ever dealt with. I farted on her. I I whimpered. I continually insisted on an, uh, just an honestly in inexcusable level of pressure. And she just did it. Man, she just did it. And all I can think is that she must have dealt with so much worse than me. And then I just felt like really bad. And I was like, I should, I need to tip this person when I leave. So that she, she got some guilt money on the way out. Which I honestly at that point was like the least I could do. Let's be real. Don't need GM counters for anything right now. Anyway, that's that story. Sorry you had to sub. I, I had to live through it. Now you do too. We do need these for the hideout. Uh, and what do I drop for it? Probably that. Yeah, give me one of those. Then, 
This is great. Gives us the underbarrel thing we need. Also for a task. I'm not dropping the armor. It's too useful. Probably the motor could go. The pressure gauge could... No, we need one for the hideout. Nah, I think we keep it all. I'm keeping the diaries because later on they give you a Karasa trade. Karasa is not great, but it's... I mean, it's level 5 armor in hardcore. It's hard to say no to. We've been in here. I'm lost. I'm lost, chat. I'm lost in the sauce. Anyway, that's 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 the chat. Uh, oh, uh, how have you guys ever been to a Thai masseuse place? Ever had your, your guts rearranged? It's a good story. Dude, it was an ordeal. Uphill battle from day one. I too have farted during the massage. <laughs> Oh, brother, I at least I'm not alone. Man, how do you hear the squash you would say you would keep 20 minutes ago? Didn't I eat the Tashanka? I ate the Tashanka. I thought I had Tashanka. Where's my Tashanka? We should take the pliers. They bought her for the mags we need. But I was hungover. It was bad. Never went back. Dude, I, I don't think I can ever go back to that brunch. For someone that small to be so powerful just feels wrong. Like, I feel like there should be, like, a nerf limit. This is a lot of Cordura. Cordura has a barter trade attached to it, which is a nice armor. The MMAC armor, I believe. This gives us... We should we should keep this. I shouldn't get rid of that. This is not... I don't think we drop. I think we got enough. This is enough. This is enough. We don't, we don't need any more Cordura. That's too much. That's too much Cordura for one man to handle. Uh, and I think there's one more jacket in here, and then the then we're done with this. I I I was wrong. There's no jacket in here. Okay, let's get out of here. Whatever, man. Whatever. Is it in here? Maybe. Yes, it is. Okay, then we're gonna head up to the resort. I'm gonna get that last marking done. We are very heavy. For, like having done nothing in this raid so far the pilgrim is a trap dude it makes you think that you're safe and sound if this stash where in the hell am i if this stash that is not in front of me wait what the there, there it is i am like fully lost there's the village where did i come out oh Oh, I'm here? Oh, okay. That's Sanador's house down there, right? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. That's like the sunken village. Okay. Everything looks different at night. I am not near the stash I thought it was. But uh, as I was going to say, if I get a cyclone battery, I'm getting out of here. Because that finishes Gunsmith Part 3. And I think we have, like, most of the stuff we need for Gunsmith Part 4. Like, we're, we're, we're not there, but we're close. Cruncher, you got any uh, you got any massage stories you want to share? What's your worst hookup story? If you if you're willing to share it, because man, I got a I got a doozy, but I I that's not good. That's 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 for when we have like 50 people. That's the reward. If that's going out, it's going out to everybody. Let me tell you, or, or like one person. I don't know. I don't know if I even want to tell it. It's bad. Like, everything was, like, consensual and happy, of course, but... Oh my god, it was a disaster. LU after dark? Pretty much. This is the this is the late night stream. Okay, we might be able to sneak a sneaky one over here. Do we know there's going to be a scab to the left there? I just wonder. I just hope. What's in the chamber? Probably it'll be PS, I think. It's PS, okay. Oh, there he goes. Hmm. Oh. Soul movement. Oh no! Oh, I'm sneezing! Oh, brother! Okay. Okay. Where? Oh. I saw a flicker for a second. I don't know if those are like just artifacts of the night vision. There was definitely a dude, but I lost him in the sneeze. 
Footstep to my right. So we've got the PS round on top. You know what? Give me a BP. Let the first shot be a headshot. We're gonna be making so much freaking noise with this pilgrim on. Uh, what's the what's the visibility like? It's pretty good. We should be a bit more careful. Oh, there, thanks, Nikita. Turned off the lights on me. Well, now we're not gonna see anything down there. God damn it. Oh, I hate how that works. Okay. We do have this, but is this? Hold on. Oh, it's an IR laser. Nice. Okay, so only we can see it. Well, other people with night vision can, but the scavs can't. That's what matters here. Everything has a price. This is true, Ulrich. This is true. So true. So true. All right, let's get, let's get smoothing. I was gonna offer, buddy. I was gonna say if you wanted to do another reserve raid together today, we could. But uh, if your PSU's cooked. Mm -hmm. That's just not an option, unfortunately. Scav spoke over here somewhere? That's, that's novel, that's new. Whoa. Yeah, 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 where are you? There you are. Stop moving. Turned off his light, damn it. Damn it, I whiffed it. I whiffed it, chat. Still alive somehow? Can't couldn't see his head. I just saw the reflective vest and I was like, nice. Gotta hit him with the laser, then we know. There are definitely steps over here somewhere. We'll go back for scab number one. We could throw a grenade to chase them up. We hit the guy with BP and he didn't die, so he's probably wearing some armor. And if it's... It, maybe even a gazelle? Although, no, we could see the reflective strips on his, uh, his jacket, so that's unlikely. Okay, get me back over this way. Let's get a little closer. We do run the risk of being spotted now. Like, I think we'll probably be within sight radius. But, it might all be worth it. Give me BP. Give me BP. Yeah. Yeah. Could take the TT ammo, I know. Enable the Papa Shah, but it's fine. It's pretty stupid to go down there, isn't it? Like, we should just wait till he shows up again. I'm just so impatient. It's... God, how am I supposed to see anything here? Oh, was that something? There's a... Hold on, there's, a, there's like a smudge on my screen. I'm predicting that as people. Like a physical blemish. Did I, did I kill him? No. No, it did not. Alright. We'll come back for you. I'm not willing to go in there. With the pilgrim on. Ah. We're gonna play it smart and safe. We have night vision. I'm not risking it on stupid plays. It's too important to hardcore. We should also definitely check here. What do you guys think? Should I go after that scav or not? I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. There is definitely one here somewhere. Otherwise, I'm just going to go for the sniper scavs. Scav needs to die? Consider it done. He's mocked us for too long. We still got BP in here, right? Yeah. That's BP. I know you can't see it, but I figured of all, like, it's better to be able to see my health and hydration and stuff than not being able to see the, the ammo, because, like, I can just tell you what it says. You're almost full of BP, is what it said. He'll give your position away, it's true. Oh, he did have armor on. 
Fuck, man. And we lost him. Okay, but he's wearing bright white. That's good. If I had to guess, I'd say he probably went around that rock, and this is the time to push. Oh, dude, I hate, I hate fighting in here. So there's two here. And we need scab kills, so we gotta do this. The problem is because scabs in this area, they can see through the bushes for some reason. Yeah, he's here. I hear him. All of that went into the tree. This gun does not recoil much, though, which is very nice. Do a quick check to see if we got that guy. Ah! That, that we did not get him. That scared me. Thank you, Tater. Oh, shit, that was enough. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Okay, and we can reload a bit. What are you rocking? PS, I'll take it. Don't mind if I do. Okay, two more scavs down. Eh, I don't need that. I've already got one. Not sure if we're going to be able to find the other mag. SP7 is pretty good to take. Oh, Helm. Good to take. I'll probably take it over the motor, to be honest. Helmets are just... They're, they're just useful. In all senses. Uh, give me this. Now we can reload. Also level 3, but it's not as good. Okay, two scavs down, baby. Oh, and that's the second one of these we need. That's good. Grizzlies, I'll leave. Pineapple juice will drink. Actually, we should take that for using in woods. Mosin Sonov stock. Don't see that every day. Okay, are we overweight? No, we are just barely getting stamina back. Okay, nice. Let's head to the resort. We're taking this very slow. I know. I know. Let's go to the sniper scabs and then we'll loop up through the resort. We'll take, uh, we'll mark the, the, the thing at the front. Um, I still don't have the keys I need for the, the lend lease, unfortunately. But getting ambulance done would be pretty cool. It is the easier of the two, like, of the three find the find the drugs quests, but whatever. Because uh, the, the skier one is the hardest by far, where you gotta, you gotta, like, mark him, like, sit there and stash the marker. That sucks. It's like a 30 second timer. Have you seen Halfman's Tour Defense series? It's like hardcore, but you can buy stuff and sell from friends only, except for items like trackers. I have not, Matt. That sounds like a really cool premise. And I, I really like Halfman's content. He's uh, one of the... It was his Rags to Riches series that inspired me to do mine. Inspired, copied, semantics, right? One. Okay. That's three scabs this raid. Not great. We need to do a bit better than that. Or we're going to be doing this for months. Okay, so there's another. He, he's shouted. I know there's a way to get up there. I just... I've never been able to do it. Oh, hold on. Was that him? That was a tree branch. I, my, my condolences. My condolences to the families I have offended. 
I mistook your, your son for a tree branch? We might smack that pineapple juice down, I'll be honest with you. There's a way, but I think you need two people. Oh, uh, okay, like so someone to like push up against the rock and then you jump on their shoulders or whatever. I understand. Oh, my posture is not great, guys. I'm slouching. My shoulder is killing me left. And we should go on the rock and try and get a better angle. I think he's on the tank side of things. The sniper scabs are just such an easy kill. Gotta try for them. And then there'll be a few in here. There'll be some at the bus stop. We might be able to get like eight or nine this raid. It'd be pretty cool if we get all ten. Um, we might get gunned down by cultists at this point. Let's be honest. It's always a possibility. I do not see them. There he is. Hold your breath, dude, please. Okay, cool. It's another one down. Alright, so that's four so far, this raid. We need six more. Six more. Need some people get up solo, but it's pretty hard and isn't easily reproducible. Yeah, I, I watched Pestily do it on his hardcore playthrough. And the man just stood there jumping for like genuinely 25 minutes. And I was like, okay, well. Okay, so there's a scab. Is a scab or a player down there? I just saw. They just ran right to left to right. We should try and get this kill. You know what? Juice me. I know we should be using this for the woods stim quest, but that, that'll happen when it happens. I'm not stressed about pushing funky. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, it's just... It's not... Yeah. It's not a reliable gimmick. I, I should not run this. Okay, so someone ran from left to right there. I, I saw them, like, for the fleeting second. It probably is scav, but you never know. Could have another player who was looting the stashes on the other side and is looped this way. Maybe we just arrived at the same time, you know? He would have walked... Okay, so it is a scav. And it sounds like he's walked inside. Oh, these night visions are good. They don't get blown out by lights. The monocular, man. I need to, need to get this more often. He's stepping on the right, I think. Yeah, he's down there somewhere. Probably in that corridor, if I had to guess. That's quite a long patrol range. What, what am I in? Oh. That laser is so bright. Kind of weird how the game does the, the eye relief, right? I walk it in slowly. I don't want to sprint to give away my position. He's probably in here somewhere. Someone's here. Is there a better laser for night vision use? Probably. Um, this is just what I have right now, Matt. With hardcore, you kind of you kind of just work with what you got. It was a bit low. Shit. There goes the surprise. There is someone in this complex. Definitely give me the huh? mm, I think I'm gonna leave the bandage. Might as well. What am I doing? Top that up. There is someone here. I don't know if they're still here, but the, it's been looted. That bag has been looted. Ooh, 
Ooh, baby, we've been here for a while. Okay, and from here we go. Player here. Oh, for the love of God, please just give me the trigger. Fuck it. Fuck it. That's so it's so buggy that one. So frustrating. I don't want to fight the player if I don't need to. I wonder what he was... That drop sounded like he was dropping down the, the hole. Uh, 2D cleaners actually would give us an AKM. But I think I think we have enough backed up to do this quest without worrying about that. It's 2D cleaners on like a Tashonko or something. They may have opened some doors. Oh, that's so true. Fuck. Giving away my position. Yeah, it's seven scabs though. We're making progress. I mean, if he's ratting around on nighttime shoreline, he's probably either trying to like. No, 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 That guy's full autoing me. I'm out. I am not an enjoyer. This is a bad angle to fight him from. We're gonna go around. We are gonna get that kill. Don't get. I like, don't get it twisted. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's so expensive, and you guys are still blowing all your points on it. I hate it. I need to make a way so that you have to, like, pay money for that knock-knock sound effect. Where is he, guys? You know what? Let him live. You know what? Let him live. Oh, he's shouting? He's talking? Oh, that's, yes, that's, that's untenable. Can't be talking on my stream. Only I talk on my stream. That's the, how this whole parasocial situation works, man. No, 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 no. It's too light for night vision now. There we go. Oh, he had UN armor. This is so stupid. There's another one here. This is so stupid. This player is going to kill us. But he had UN armor. I dropped it on the floor. And I suppose we should... This player is going to come and kill and kill me. Oh, brother. I need that UN. Oh, it's so exposed. We're going to die here. We're going to die here. We're going to die here. Okay. We didn't die here. Might as well go back up and mark. At this point, you're right. How much time do we have? 10 minutes? I think if I- yeah, I'll drop the bag and I'll just go do the marking part. Okay, I'm sold. Oh, that arm is heavier. Interesting. We'll have to drop something. Okay, sniper scavs are up. Maybe it's a player scav, not a player. I like- I'm, I'm out of stamina. I can't run. Bag's too heavy.
gonna drop this in this bush. Don't mind me. Please, can I run it? Can I run now? What, is it okay if I run now? Thank you. you gotta love talk of, right? You gotta love talk of sometimes. Okay, so my pilgrim is. Players here somewhere. I'm worried. Pilgrim's there. Come on, baby. Come on. Just let me do this. Problem is, he's gonna have the window and I won't, which is gonna make it very hard to see where he is. Like he's he's up in there somewhere. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna ship it. We're gonna try it. It would work now. There's a player there. Hey, buddy, I'm trying to get this mocking done. Can you wait? I asked nicely. I did. Don't ever want ever don't everybody say I didn't. I wonder which way he's trying to extract. Is that at me? No, it's at him. Okay. We can make use of that. Give me a bit of cat and mouse here. It's gonna be a bit of cat and mouse here. I'm hoping, I'm hoping he's still watching this angle and we can get him on a long shot here if we lie down. They're running, he's, he's just run down that road. He just down, ran down that road. Straight, God damn it! Thank you. Let him know we're here. Now we reposition. Get him from one of these windows. Six minutes. Might have to leave the pilgrim, guys. What do you think we do? Tristan, we are in a very... Like, we're in like a cat and mouse game with another player. He's wearing a couch on his back. He's a mega gamer. He just ran down this road. I'm worried that there's two of them. That's the big thing. Okay, we gotta go back for our pilgrim. And then we gotta just fucking leg it to Road to Customs. So he's down there somewhere. I have put my bag in a very bad place. I'll say that much. I'm assuming he's running for the extract, because it would be insane of him to be still here. Would I put the bag, guys? There it is. He stole my pilgrim! Motherfucker. I'm dead. I'm dead. 
I'm actually dead. He stole my pilgrim. That little shit. No. All right, let's just get out of here. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. That fucker stole my pilgrim. Oh. That piece of schmeat. Cue sad music, dude. Everybody's always asking, where's the pilgrim? Nobody's ever asking, are you okay? <laughs> that is a that is a tragedy. Actual trash, I agree. Alright, we got the mocking done. I mean, that's kind of funny. Like, you, you gotta see the humor in it. And at least we'll probably make it out. What a weird game of cat and mouse. What a weird raid. Hey... Upside, we haven't lost our night vision. He missed his headshot on me, which was like a freebie. Uh, and uh, we might actually be able to extract. All right, we no longer have a pilgrim. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. We got like a bunch of triceps we can get. Like a bunch. Oh, actually, no, we can't. We need them for illumination three. I think the hideouts upgrading is more important than the than the loot capacity. Although, a tricep does enable you to take more light bulbs, so. And we got the marketplace. That's true, Matt. You gotta, you gotta count the blessings. That's very true. That's very true. So true. So true. Alright. Um, I'm pretty sure we're close on scavs, but I don't really want to get into a fight now. Right as we're leaving. So let's just get going. That guy might be chasing me. There's, there's a pretend- I mean, there's a chance he's got this as the extract, right? Road to customs. Which is where we're going. Check us need, like, one more scav. Uh, Punisher... Punisher? There it is. Oh, no, we need four more. Okay, okay, okay. So we weren't, we weren't gonna get it even if we, uh, even if we hunted down a few extras. That's fine. That's fine. Let's just, let's just keep this ball rolling, baby. Also, hi to all the new viewers in chat. Hope you guys are having a good day. We're playing a little hardcore talk off. Very cool to have you here. Stream's been, stream's been going good today. If you like the content, leave a like. It helps out the channel immensely. More than you can possibly imagine. And it looks like you'll get out with the gun to fight another day. Exactly. Oh, no, we're definitely extracting. I'm not worried about that. We genuinely just need... Okay, so we're going to come back again. Another nighttime shoreline. We'll do. We'll use the monocler again. Four more scav kills. And that's Punisher 1 done. Uh, I'm probably not going to do Punisher 4. I don't think we need it to finish uh, Hardcore Challenge this time round. Because we have to just... I mean, it, well, if we can do it, we'll do it, right? Like, that'd be great. But uh, it's, it's just such a bitch to push through. Like, 5 and 6 are so much easier. Six is so well, look, okay. Six is basically impossible on hardcore because you have to use an SVD, and the only reliable way to get one is Sturman. Uh, and have you seen the guns I've got? I mean, like, look, this is okay, but this ain't gonna, this ain't gonna fight the sweat lords every day. Let me tell you. I have not taken the most efficient route out, but we are gonna make it in time. My energy, yep, is gonna be zero. Yep, and no snacks to speak of. We are in a constant fight for food. I think we do one more shoreline, we get the stabs, we get Punisher 1 done, and then we put shoreline on the back burner for a bit, because it's been a little repetitive. We've been doing a lot of shoreline. Alright, cool. That is it. Oh, thank you for the likes, guys. I really appreciate it. Helps out so much. Like, so much. I know there's a grenade case there, I don't care. Okay, cool. Turns out I care. Because I'm pretty sure you still extract while looting it. <laughs> too far. That's ah, fine. Okay. 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 Un baguette. <laughs> we need a baguette. It's true. Okay. Nine scav kills. Cool. 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 Cash Penny just comes in spewing the most insane nonsense at times, man. Okay, ambulance done. Anesthesia, sorry. Anesthesia done. That's pretty sweet. And we got something else done. 
Oh, two, wait, so, oh wait, that was daily? I didn't even know. We get rig gain. Yeah, that's the three markers on shoreline. Cool, 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 cool. And that's unlocked a whole bunch of other stuff. Samples. We can finally turn in all the stuff we've been holding on to. There's a mule. There's an obdoboss, which means we can now we can now use or sell all the other ones. Obdoboss is a bit of a bit of a gamble. Melodonin's a really good stim. All right, that's done. What do you want from me again? Chemistry closet. Ah, okay. We do, that's you need the blue tape key. Yeah, it gives us a graphics card though. That's good. And we need just one more. Scout used to give you one. It doesn't anymore. So now you need to find two. And this is just a free docs case. Oh, sorry, sorry. There we go. Okay. Uh, interesting spot. That was like the best timing of my career. God damn. Hey everybody. Hey Mervix. Hey, 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 hey. Great to have you here. Water. With pleasure. Water. Water. Running the bets now. Thank you for the hydrate. My throat is dry and scratchy. Uh, Miss Unemployed is in the other room having a freaking coughing fit. I'm a little worried. I don't know what that's about. Um, I went to go speak to her and she said she's, she's fine. Just like, this is coughing like crazy. Um, yeah, it's a bit concerning. We both, we both got the cocoa. And she's had a much worse time of it than I did. I didn't bring a backpack. Ah, it's fine. This is, this is a speed run level anyway. Y'all want to see something crazy? Look at that shit. That's creepy. Look at that. I don't like that. Um. You know what? Frick looting. Let's just let's just get these kills and these markers placed, and then we're just we're just done. You know. Like I'll check the jackets on the way, but like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force it like I normally would. Bets are open, people, if you want to bet. Yes, no, maybe. Gotta get them points, bruh. Bruh. Only way, that's the proven, proven method to counteract hair loss. Collect follicles on largely unemployed stream. Matches gives us Comtax. Comtax gives us Intel. Intel gives us knowledge. Knowledge wins Tarkov. You see? How am I doing? I'm doing okay. My shoulder, my left shoulder is still in extreme pain. I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. There's a, like a knot in the muscle the size of my fist. It is uh, a little concerning. I don't know why it's doing that. It shouldn't. Um, but here we are. All this logic chain there. Thank you. Thank you. I am something of a scientist myself. Nice to be recognized for your brilliance, you know, from time to time. How dark is it? Ah, it's not that dark. We should be careful. It'll it'll get dark in about 20 minutes. minutes. Sit up straight, goddammit! Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I, I need a constant posture check today, chat. Because I am misbehaving. Currently no st no uh, sanitar. Currently no headshot either. We might make it through this. We're doing. We've burned through quite a few quests this stream. We've got about two or three per episode on average. I'd say. And this is. I mean, like, yeah, we're really. I think we're just gonna do a loot run. I'm not, sorry, not a loot run. We're just going to do a quest run. This, this, I'm kind of tired of shoreline. Kind of just want to be done with it now. I will check stashes when I pass them, though. Because it's a silly not to. There's one in the village that I always run past. And I never know where it is. What is this goo vision? We have night vision, dude. Oh, well. That's frustrating. Okay, we need to come back for that. That's, that's very good armor. Um, I don't want to drop my rig. That's very good armor. We need two more of them still, so... Ooh. Ooh. What is this goo vision, he asks? Very funny phrasing. Let's get up here and shoot the sniper scouts. I wore night vision, doesn't look like this. You get different kinds. This is a... The commercial... This is a civilian model, the PVS-14. 
can buy it on like Amazon. I think there were footsteps behind me. Maybe. It's a little unsure. Have you done the task where you have to hand that in? The gazelle? No, I haven't. I haven't yet. Um, I haven't. I haven't been able to get past uh, uh, the Oli Logistics quest, the database part two. I don't have the key. We're still we're still grinding it out. Oh, now I've got a problem because Aisha's prepping dinner in the next room, oh, like in the in the kitchen, which is through this door to my right. And so I'm every now and then I'm hearing like a little. And I'm like, oh, is that a scab? Because it just sounds, it's like, you know, it's just close enough to like what Tarkov stuff sounds like. Just close enough. Early wipe. This hill is such a good spot to get shoot upon in heaven done. Because I, oh. I was like, there's a scab inside my body. What's happening? Turns out, turns out. You say it, brother. You tell him. Lay it out. Lay it all out. Mm. No. And then, what did she say? She said, Joppa? Bro. That is not chill. Support this poor son on Patreon so he can take out his girl. I appreciate the, uh, I appreciate this call out moments. Thank you. We went to dinner last night and uh, Aisha saw firsthand the, the, the rising costs of living. She was just like, how, how, how can pizza cost this much? And I was like, oh, honey, wait till you see the, wait till you see the electricity prices we're running right now. <laughs> Get smote. One tapped. Baby. Okay, nice. That's that done. Rage against the machine, brother Scav. You fight the power now, you hear? You pay for your lack of electricity? Oh, yeah, boy. You think just because they don't provide us means they don't bill us? No, 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 no. This is Africa, my child. You get you pay whether you use it or not. Let me tell you. Also, this is incredible. We're going back for the gazelle. This is like literally the perfect setup to replace this. Could not have asked for more. I mean, I could have. I just won't. I'm cool like that. Also, I did not grab the ophthalmoscope last time we were here, so we should do that. I don't know if we're going to go to the resort in this raid. I I'll see. I just don't really feel like fighting anyone <laughs> in this shooting game. Time to run back. Yep, 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 yep. We're gonna head straight back down. A horse. A horse, a horse, of course, a horse. Please don't give me a lion. Or a cat. Just don't. Well, my cat would be fine. I think this thing has three, three tall slots. Yeah, it does. Just don't give me a lion. Don't do it. Just be chill. Okay, you didn't do it. Thank you. Would have been nice if you gave me a lion, though. Oh, I, I did it again. I did it again. We need this. There we go. Skipping the computers because, like, <laughs> no. I don't have to loot computers in the dark like some kind of pansy. <laughs> Unlike you. <laughs> I need to work on my Schwarzenegger. It's getting there. It's getting there. By the way, what are your goals for this lovely stream? Um, to finish Punisher Part 1, which we're three scabs away from. That was the goal, hence the title. The punishment begins. Uh, next stream's goal is to gonna be finish Part 2, and maybe even Part 3, but that's a big ask, because we don't have any AKS-74 use. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of shoreline. And uh, since we got the night vision, I'm using the night vision. But get used to it, nerds. It's 
not that bad, right? Like, you can see. Sure, 90% of your screen is black, but, you know, just... If I was here at night, without the night vision, 100% of your screen would be black. So, like, let's just let's just count our blessings, shall we? You're so needy, chap. Gosh. I want to try some of the... The, the what? The pocaroni the scavs are always talking about? What is pocaroni, and how do I insert it into my mouth? That sounds like a Russian delicacy. I'm, I'm not like a foodie, but I'm always down to try and do something. Like when I was in South Korea, I was in heaven, boys. Two years of just different, flavorful, delicious food. Oh man, it was so good. Like South African food is great, but it's it's pretty heavy and it's very meat focused, right? Like a lot of, a lot of meat, a lot of carbs. Vegetables are kind of something that happens to other people. Uh, Whereas Korea, it's just this like beautiful medley of all these flavors. It's spicy. It's oh, dude, oh, jajangmyeon. I'm there. A little little um, little. Oh, what's over here? Little bude jjigae. Oh baby, that's army base stew. It's got like uh, spicy spam bits. I don't think that killed him. Is that a man or a tree? It's a tree. It's a tree. I'm shooting at nothing. There was a man, but he's run back. Okay, so cool. So we didn't get that kill. We'll come back for him. Oh, I doubt straight, god damn it. Thank you. I doubt it's actually food in Russian, but to me it sounds like a delicious pasta dish. me. <laughs> Hey, I like a pokeron! <laughs> I have so many Italian friends who get mad when you do the Italian accent. And they're like, it's so racist. I'm like, bro, that's not racist. You're white. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Italian's not like a subjugated people. You were subjugating others. Have you heard of Ethiopia? You ever heard of Libya? Maybe Tunisia, perhaps? Oh, oh wait, hold on. Tunis might have been French. Hold on, that's, that's, uh, that might be wrong. But Libya was definitely spa uh, Italian. Okay, swap everything around here. Seven. That's it. Cool. Okay, we're now very well armored and a little bit heavy. But that's not the worst thing. That's not the worst thing in the world. Like we are like very well armored now. This is this is like late game sweat lord armor. Spicy little gazelle, let's go. Can I get some opogsums in chat? I'm still a fan. I'm still a fan. It's one of my favorite emotes you've ever added. Can I get some opogsums from the channel members? Miles casually opening a can of worms in stream, dude. That's true. I should be careful. What's going on here? Oh. Nice. Two more. Two more scabs, chat. Okay, maybe we... Oh, we've got the armor. Maybe we do go... We go bus station. We try and get two kills here. And then we go to... We, we stash the last marker and then it's done. Right? Like, the gazelle's nice, but we will get more. If we die, it's... it's it, we will be okay. And we're, we're like in the best position we've been in for a long time to pull this off. So let's pull it off. I did hotkey that, right? Yeah. It's so annoying I can't use the emotes. I'm sorry, Mermix. Yeah, it's only for... I wish there was a way to bridge Patreon and YouTube. Maybe there's an, a plugin or something I can find. Best thing I can give you is a duck. I will take a duck, dude. Duck me all the way. Duck me, daddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll stop. I won't. I won't. Fuck. Yes. Okay. That's done. Punisher part one is done. Alright, let's get this last marker down. We don't have to worry about, like, hunting scavs anymore. 
We just we just get the ones that like, you know, get in the way now. I mean, we'll have to come back and do the exact same quest again because now we got to get the silenced weapon kills, but we don't have to use an AKM for that, which means we can sell a lot of the stuff we've been holding on to for so long. Bombs 110. Already got it. You just you gotta check this stuff. What an amazing find, right? To get the scab with this rig, plus the gazelle. It's a rare occurrence, dude. Just, I'm, I've been jumped here so many times, I've got, like, PTSD. We actually have an x I think we might be able to put those ears on. I have to say I really improved from when we started watching your streams. I think so too, man. But, I mean, that'll happen, right? I've just played a lot more Tarkov. Like, when I did Season 1 of Hardcore, I genuinely had 60 hours in the game, and I thought I could do it. It was the most insanely overconfident bullshit you've ever heard. Like, it was just, I was no up chance that I was able to do that. And now, I've got close to... 1,200 hours, maybe? Across both accounts? Like, my main account and this one. This one's about 300, and that's just, like, that's just 300 on-camera hours, right? A respectable amount for anybody. I'm probably gonna die here. But let's, well, let's, let's send it. Maybe we don't. I've gotten better, but I'm not good yet. My PvP is weak. When you went on melee only rat rounds? Yeah, I remember that. That was a dark time. That was a dark time. That, oh my god. Oh my god, knee cruncher. My heart rate. Oh dude, we should definitely go in and try and get nostalgia done too. It would be idiotic not to. It's up here, I think. It's on this side, right, chat? Somebody over here? Probably looting 301, shit. Where's 303 for nostalgia? Thanks, old man Tater. It's the room in front of me. Wait a minute. Sorry, Chad, I'm focused. We have to survive, Chad. You hear me? He's underneath me, I think. Hey, brother, I'm leaving. It's all yours. Gonna go part the lighthouse. What are the odds he snipes us here, chat? Pretty low, I think. He, he went quiet the second he heard me, so I think maybe we were dealing with a coward, which is exactly what you want to deal with. 
All right, getting both of these quests out, it's just insanely good luck. He opened everything we needed. I think he was either in the 301 room or he was on the second floor looting. But either way, he was still, he was right next to me. What happens to you jump on a player in Tarkov? It's just like landing. Uh, so the game treats it like you just landed on a slightly higher platform. So if it's too far, your legs will break, yeah. Um, and occasionally, if you're very unlucky, if your friend's like super laggy, you might jump through him. And then you go even further, right? And like, hurt your legs more. So I'm panting. I am panting. And here's my insane plan. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the, this gazelle, but not that we'll, we'll run the damaged gazelle until it, it gets below 50% and then we'll stack it. Uh, who's lurking? Hey, thanks, Couch. Thanks for the lurk notification. I really appreciate it when you guys do that. Helps me know who in, who isn't is not still chatting. Streamlines. You are no. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> That's. He was the king of the people. That dude has the best gaming chair in Taco. F. Head, uh, head eyes, dude. <laughs> With 5x4539PS. Possibly one of the worst rifle ammunitions in the game. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. We didn't just have two like major quests completed in Fun Go and Night Vision. Average Tarkov experience, so true, so true. Getting Tarkov on main. And of course, a big thank you to our channel members and Patreons for this month. Kelly Ananas, Call Me Bo 82 Old Man Tater, Sir Tristan H, Knee Cruncher, Riley David, The Senate, Couch Potato, Not K Arthur, Sleep Deprived Sam, LCG Canyon Sahar, The Senate Again, Charlie Weber, Mermix, Officer C4, and Red Raven Gaming.